Good morning, everybody. How's your Sunday going? I have Willow here. We are going to try and change her and put her in this little dress. And if it's too small, I'll find something else to put her in, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how it goes for now. Hey. Yeah, we'll see how it goes for now. No, she is 24 month size. We figured 18 to 24. Is that how it goes? <laughs> Is that how, does that how it goes? Okay. She may lose her wig, folks. So she's not rooted yet. So I'm hoping she doesn't. I'm hoping I can just slip it off. There we go. We, we did our best. Yeah. There we go. Well, you wouldn't believe it. I was out early this morning. I've been up since, what, five? I was out a little earlier. It was nice. Not too bad. Cool, but not too bad. But guess what? I went just went back out there again because I put the numbers on my house that I bought on my deck there. So people could see my house number. And, uh... <laughs> and, uh, it's gonna snow! It's that cold out. It feels like it, it can snow. So I'm just keeping an eye on the weather. Okay, honey. Let's take these off. Just for a just for a minute. Okay, just for a minute. Hmm. I hope this fits you. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I think this is going to be too tight. I didn't see a size on it, so, I mean, maybe it'll fit Rose. It was only a dollar. And it's made by these people. I'm watching UFO thingies on uh, on the Amazon stick. My friend's paying for it for me. Uh, and they're talking about the government is trying to put all this monarchy that these people, the aliens, if there are aliens, that they wanna um they're have come for the wrong reasons and that they're a threat. Okay, let me put let me put my two cents in when it comes to UFOs. Do I believe in UFOs? Yeah. Do I believe that they're coming here to destroy Earth? No. Absolutely not. I think they're just as curious about us as we are about them. Okay? They just have more technology maybe our solar system is newer than their solar system okay and they're coming around to have a look okay because we are doing more and more and more space stuff okay so they're keeping an eye on us now i'm going to tell you if the aliens thought we were a threat 
uh, the space station would have been blown up way long ago, okay? Uh, the landing on the moon wouldn't have been, would have been noticed, okay? And they would have put an end to that. And now they're on Mars, okay? So now we're at Mars. We've been at Mars for how many years now? Uh, we just had a landing at Mars, for all the people that don't know. You know, we have a ship up there right now taking pictures and stuff like that right now that's taken quite a few years to get there. Now, if these aliens thought we were a threat, that stuff would have never gotten to Mars. So, I think we could share technology, okay, with each other. I think we could be able to live on their planet, they can live on our planet, and we can learn from each other and be friends, okay? As a Canadian, we are a friendly country. Now, I know from watching war movies and the military that the U.S. military like to blow shit up and shoot people and go to war and make money from war. So, I am a believer of peace. That's how I am. Uh, my family background, a few of us have been in the military. My stepsister or half-sister or whatever was a paramedic in the Iraq war in the Gulf War. So she's seen a lot of crap. My grandfather was in World War World War II and he was in Vietnam. Uh, his brother died in Vietnam. My father my grandfather died in 1966, a year before I was born. So yeah, there's lots of history in the military. So I don't think if the aliens were here to cause trouble, uh, we would have seen it way by now. And we are seeing more and more of them, I guess, more and more sightings since we've been taking more and more trips to the space station. And a lot of stuff, a lot of weird freaky stuff is going on that people are seeing. And I don't think you should panic about it. I think they're just going, you know, they're taking a look. I mean, if they, like I said, if they wanted to cause trouble, they would have caused trouble a long, long, long time ago. And they haven't. So, and until something happens, I think we should stop thinking that people that are different from us uh, are a threat because from from growing up and from what I see in the US you guys are brainwashed to think that anybody that's different from you is a threat and it's not we're not nobody's a threat to each other we have men in office some of them are very trigger happy who like to just, like I said, blow shit up. Hey, I got this. I'm gonna put this on her, underneath. I don't know, I think these are, would fit Evangeline better, but I don't know, we'll see. I just thought something underneath, nah, we won't. Well, these are for Angeline. I think these will fit her better. So, you know what I'm saying, guys? I just think, People need to relax. Stop thinking that everybody is out to get you. Because the world is better. You know what I'm saying? I want these sparkly shoes? No, those are too small. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, uh, personally, personally, I don't understand it myself. Why? Because somebody is different from you, you 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 think people are a threat. Oh, I'll look pretty on you. 
and that's not that's not the case guys like stop listening to people who make money blowing stuff up <laughs> you know <sighs> like let's not worry about stuff that's not real you know what I mean like that's how I feel Like, I've seen UFOs as a kid. I've seen them a couple of times. I I love the solar system. I love I love NASA, SpaceX. I've been watching it since, you know, as far as I can remember. I mean, I grew up in the space. You know, I, I, grew, I grew up watching this stuff and learning about this stuff my whole life. And... If they were here to be a problem, we would have known by now. I really do. I think we would have known by now. So, I think people need to start relaxing, you know, when it comes to UFOs. I really do. These are really pretty on her. These, I got, remember I got these at the... I can't... See, one foot, one foot is harder to get in than the other. It would help if I had more beads in her too, so I don't have enough beads in her legs. I didn't want to put too much weight in there, you know? So uh, that's how I feel, guys. So like when people start talking about UFOs and oh, they're a threat and they're coming to hurt us. I mean, I what? I'm 53 now, so we, we've had 54 years because they went to the moon. What? Uh, 1963. Did they go to the moon in 1963? 65 I can't remember so I mean that's like 55 years of space program in 55 years if they if we were if they were a threat they would have done something by now that's all I'm saying so everybody needs to like relax yes it's nice to watch you know these shows about UFOs and stuff like that and and movies you know but I really don't think they're gonna do anything. I really don't, because if they would have, if they would have, they would have done it by now. And they would have start with the space station to keep us from going to space and having a place. They would have stopped us from going to Mars. You know, they had how many years to stop those those things, ships and stuff going to Mars. They would have done that. So enjoy the show. Enjoy the light show, you know, and if you do happen to see an alien, I mean, welcome. You know, maybe that's why they haven't made contact because we are a threat to them, not the other way around. And I think if we stop threatening people all the time, you know, with missiles and nuclear war and stuff like that and having fights, you know, over oil. And I think, I think in the long run, I think that would be the best thing for everybody, you know, is to just get along. Like, why is it so hard just to get along? So anyways, here is Willow. The dress did fit her. The dress did fit her. Very lovely. I love the onesie on. But yeah, the dress did fit her. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? For a dollar? I can't believe it. And then they put the shoes I bought, I got a long time ago. Look, see? Polka dots with little flowers and daisies on the sides. 
Isn't she beautiful now? So yeah, I really don't think, here, I'm gonna move my camera a little bit and then I can hold her, but not for very long because I'm not a well person. It puts a lot of stress on my heart and my back lifting stuff up so but no she is just a beautiful little girl now I don't have a necklace that would fit her oh well okay so can you go okay so this is my little so anyways this is a, a bit of a chat but you know like you know when the world starts getting along you know, when they feel, maybe they feel safe to come and say hello, you know? I mean, you know what I'm saying? I don't think we have anything to be afraid of. I think we can learn a lot from each other and, and uh, we have one planet, by the way, guys. We'll never live on Mars in our lifetime or our children's lifetime or even our grandchildren's lifetime. So we have one planet. And this is our home and stop polluting it because you know we live in it i mean you know the saying don't pollute in your own backyard so if everybody took care of the yard and planted a tree a couple of trees stop taking down trees and farmland to to get a pail of one more pail of canola that you can't eat non-food you know and maybe we can stop polluting this earth and we can stop thinking about we're going to be safe because we're going to go to Mars. That's just stupid. We're not going to Mars, guys. Not anytime soon. This is our home. So let's look after it, okay? And uh, let's be friendly to those aliens if they do come because I, I, if they were going to be hostile, they would have done it a long time ago. All right, from me, Willow, take care. Thank you for watching. Bye.